Are you requesting that since you're obligated to pay child support and you are the father of the child and you want your visitations, you also would like for the child to have your last name, Rodriguez? Is that correct? Correct. I haven't seen her because uh, the mama didn't let me see her anymore. So I haven't had contact with her. But she started making uh, problems with my probation officer that I had threatened her. I just uh, decided to stay away. You do know that Mr. Rodriguez is the father, right? You acknowledge yes. And you acknowledge and, and you do want to receive child support, right? Yes. And so do you, do you think it's just or fair for him to be the father and be paying child support or be ordered to pay child support? And not it's not fair support? because he tried to give up his rights. They're trying to calculate child support at a much higher rate. And at that position, my client is like, well, you're not letting me see my child and uh, you're, you're want, requesting high child support. Maybe the best option is for me to relinquish my rights. How about the uh, child support payments? His current girlfriend is the owner of where he was working. And I think that <clears throat> they're just trying to like avoid <clears throat> him getting pay stubs. There is another child on the way. So maybe when we come back, it might need to be lowered. Mr. Juarez is present as the attorney for Mr. Rodriguez. You may proceed, Mr. Vasa. The parties have reached a partial agreement in this case, and um, the state had filed a, a petition in suit to establish the parent-child relationship. The parties have agreed that paternity has been established uh, through DNA testing, Your Honor. Okay. They have agreed that, and I can show that result if you'd like, but... Um, is they've there an agreed agreement that's okay as long as you attach it to the temporary order. Um, your your honor, I believe it's going to be a final order today. Okay. Conservatorship. They have agreed to joint managing conservatorship with Ms. Canales, um, having the right to determine the primary residence of the child, restricted to Maverick County. They have agreed that. Uh, uh, well, visitations are are an issue, but. Um, they have agreed that um, pickup for any visitations would occur at CP uh, Ms. Canales' residence, and a return of the child would be at, well, yes, return of the child would be at Mr. Rodriguez's residence. They have agreed on uh, government medical assistance being ordered. They've agreed to a medical support payment of $50 per month beginning May 1st, 2024. The parties have agreed to child support at $194 per month. So $194 per month beginning April, beginning May 1st, 2024. The parties have also agreed to a retroactive child support judgment of $3,672 for the time period of uh, from December 17th, 2021 to today, 4 9 24. And that will be paid at $50 per month beginning May 1st, 2024. They have agreed that not, uh, there will be no non disclosure uh, requested by either party, and court costs will be as billed to Mr. Rodriguez. And I believe that is that's so the only the, issue is visitation. So the only issue is visitation, visitation and the child's last name, Your Honor. Okay. All right. Since it's visitation, Mr. Juarez, would you like to begin? No, of course. Um, does the honorable court want me to question my client or just make my argument for visitation judge? Uh, no, no, I need the evidence. So you go ahead and question your client and okay, then you certainly. can question her. Certainly. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Christian, can you state your name for the record? Uh, Christian Rodriguez. <clears throat> Mr. Rodriguez, uh, what is your last name? Uh, Rodriguez. Okay. And right now, do you understand the child's last name is Canales? Yes. Are you requesting that since you're obligated to pay child support and you are the father of the child and you want your visitations, you also would like for the child to have your last name, Rodriguez, is that correct? Correct. Okay, now in regards to visitation, uh, you obviously want to visit with your child, correct? Yes. Okay, uh, and the child is uh, going to be three years old in December, correct? Correct. Okay, <laughs> and uh, you would like to visit the child uh, at 
under the standard family code. Is that right? Right. Okay. So you're obviously asking that you be allowed to uh, visit with a child overnight, correct? Yes, correct. And you understand that initially you may uh, exercise not to see her overnight, but at least you want that option, correct? Correct. Okay. And um, are you asking for summer visitations? Correct. Okay. You are, you want to get to know your child more, correct? Correct. And the only way that you're going to be able to do that is for you to spend some time with her. Is that right? Correct. Okay. You're hoping that the mother works with you uh, on, 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 on the visitation schedule. Is that right? Right. Okay. <laughs> and um, you're asking this honorable court once again to give you the standard visitation under the family code. Is that right? Right. Okay. Judge, I have no further questions of this witness. Okay. Uh, Ms. Shavasa, do you have any questions of Mr. Um, Rodriguez? Yes, Your Honor. Um, Mr. Rodriguez, uh, what what kind of relationship do you have with the with the the child, Kaylin, right now? Uh, I haven't seen her because uh, the mama didn't let me see her anymore, so I haven't had contact with her. But whenever I came out of jail, she would take her to the house, and I would see I would see my daughter. She would even spend the night in my house with me. She and, will not spend the night with you. Ms. Uh, Canales, don't speak out of turn. It'll be your turn in a minute. Do not interrupt the evidence, okay? Yes, uh, she spent the night probably like twice in my house. Whenever she would leave and say that if I could take care of her, she would spend the night and I would go and pick her up and I was with her. But since then, uh, she started making uh, uh, problems with my probation officer that I had threatened her. I just uh, decided to stay away. Whenever that wasn't true, so uh, it has when was the last? Okay, it has been a few months. I haven't I haven't seen my daughter because of that. So um, thinking like probably like around four months. But after those four months, I was I was seeing her and she was spending time with me. Were were the were the overnights? So you have had overnights with the child? Yes, but it wasn't. To be honest, it was like two times only, like whenever she would let me see her and uh, she would wanted to go out and with her friends and she told me oh, I can take care of, of my daughter and I would tell her yes. And were those, were those visits supervised? Supervised, uh, no, uh, she would just drop my daughter and I would stay with her. Also, I would go to her house and, and spend time with her. <clears throat> <clears throat> but then when everything started getting out of hand like she started fighting with me arguing with me I just decided to just stay away so okay waiting for so, this yes. so okay so how um how, how often how many times I guess would you say that you you've had visits with the child since the since she was uh, it was it was probably like like fifteen times that I would go over there and spend fifteen to twenty times. Uh, I would go and spend time with her. I even bought her. A, she told me that she needed a car seat for the baby. I bought her a car seat. Um, I would buy her uh, French fries from uh, McDonald's. She would start eating a little bit of French fries, and uh, I'll buy her Pampers also from Walmart and then after she started making um, problems, I just decided to stay away and, you know, I it was for the best and just get it uh, resolved by the court and everything. Okay, uh, no further. Pass the witness. Um, Mr. Juarez, any questions? And none of this, none of my client judge. <coughs> All right. Um, Mr. Juarez, do you have a, any other questioning? Would well, just I'd like to question Ms. Carlos. All right, Ms. Carlos, they're going to ask you a couple of questions, okay? Um, you may proceed, Mr. Juarez. Ms. Carlos, what's the child's last name? Canales. Okay, and uh, you have an issue with her 
uh, name being changed to Rodriguez? Yes. Okay, you, you, you're, but you're asking for, you do know that Mr. Rodriguez is the father, right? You acknowledge, yes. and mm -hmm. you acknowledge, and, and you do want to receive child support, right? Yes. So do you, do you think it's just or fair for him to be the father and be paying child support or be ordered to pay child support? And it's not, not fair support? because he tried to give up his rights a few times, and that's why um, court was rescheduled a few times because he was trying to give up her rights. Mm -hmm. and so, so I don't think it's fair for my daughter to have his last name whenever he tried to give up her rights. Okay, but you think it is fair for you to get child support, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, and uh, you have issues with my client visiting the child, correct? No, I don't have issues with him visiting. I just have issues like him, her spending the night with him. Okay. And uh, but he yeah. has spent the night know. with him at, le at least twice, correct? What was that? He has spent time with her overnight at least on two occasions. Isn't that right? Overnights, no. He, he never spent the night at his house. Okay, so has, has, so my question to you, has he ever hit the child? Hit? Yeah. Has he ever hit the child? No. Has he ever hurt the child? Not that I know of. Oh, uh, is there any reason to believe that he's hurt the child? Mm, no. Because you're, make, you're making it seem like he might have and you just he, don't know. I don't have an issue with him seeing my daughter. It's just I don't want her to spend the nights yet because you, you, like, you do understand it's not your time. daughter. Let, 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 time, guys. let him let her finish, Mr. Wardis. She has objection. She has no um like she she doesn't have a relationship with him. Like she doesn't even know who he is. Whenever he would see my daughter was when she was like seven months. Right. So, would you agree with me that would you agree with me that the only way he's going to get to know his daughter is if he has the right to visit, correct? Yes, and, and yes, and I want that. Okay, no I understand, Judge. Now, uh, um, have you ever seen him discipline the child? No, because she was okay. small. She was seven months. R right, right. Okay, I, I have no further questions, Judge. Uh, I have a couple of questions, Miss Carnales. You testified that Mr. Rodriguez tried to terminate his parental rights. How was how yes. did he try to terminate him? How? Uh, he he said it in the court a few times, and that's why his court was rescheduled a few times. I think twice. And he was trying to get a lawyer to give up his rights. All right. Um, now, with respect to the, the visitation, um, mm -hmm. she does know that Mr. Rodriguez is her father. She's about no. two years old right now, right? She's never, no, he, she hasn't seen him and she was months old. Okay. All right. The times that he has seen her, or, well, has he ever seen her by herself? Yes. Okay. And how long ago was that? That was probably like seven months ago. Eight months ago, it's okay, been so a she while. Would have been about, she would have been about a year and a half. Um, she was still a baby. I remember that. I know you don't remember the age though. No. Okay. How long was that visit when he was seeing her alone? How long was the visit for? Like an hour, a day, or how long? It was probably for like an hour or two. Okay. All it right. was never more than that. Because right. then, like, again, like how I say, like, they don't have a relationship, so I don't know how my, my daughter would react to him, you know, just being there alone with him, and she doesn't know him. Okay. But do you get along uh, with Mr. Rodriguez for purposes of visitation so that uh, the yeah, person... Yeah, I get along with him. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I used to, at least. All right. Um, he started sending me messages as well as, like, threatening me that he was going to take my daughter away. And that's the reason why I stopped letting him see my daughter and requested child support instead, you know, to work, have an agreement with child support. With was he, yeah. So he was, what were in those texts that he sent? He was threatening me that he was going to take my daughter away. And I have the messages as well. All right. 
Um, do you have them with you so that you can share the screen with the court? I could search them. I don't have them with me right now, but I could search up his text messages. All right. Mr. Did Rodriguez, you did you ever hear tell her that you were going to take the uh, your daughter away from her? Not that I recall, no. You don't remember? I'll show you the messages so you can recall. Okay. I understand that she's looking for the messages. So we can do temporary orders. Well, Judge, I, again, I, I would just say, like, so it's her position that at one point my client is telling her to take the child away from you, and then at another point he's saying I'm relinquishing his rights. Uh, I think the issue here, Judge, is that uh, she doesn't let him see the child. And so when that happens, he gets frustrated, and then they're trying to calculate child support at a much higher rate. And at that position, my client is like, well, you're not letting me see my child and uh, you're, you're want, requesting high child support, maybe the best option is for me to relinquish my rights. But now that we've calculated the child support the way it's supposed to be, and now that he's hired an attorney that ex has explained to him his rights and duties and obligations, uh, all he wants is an order from this court, um, um, ordering him to for those rights and duties and obligations. No, so, I understand that, Mr. Um, what is, I, I understand that totally. Um, however, if he has threatened to not return the child. I don't think it's not return the child, the child Judge. I don't think it's a not return the child. I think- I, I haven't it, seen him. That, right. That's why I want to see them, Mr. What is, he's asking, uh, obviously, that he have overnight and all that. So it is of interest to the court. It's a credibility issue. If she has the text messages and he's saying he doesn't remember sending them, it's for the court, it's credibility. Who to I, I understand, so, Judge. I, I think, it, and I haven't seen those, so this is a complete surprise to right. me. Right. And, I, and, I, and, and so I'm going to object on those bases. But having said that, Judge, uh, my client's intentions were not that I'm going to keep the baby away from you and not ever return the child. I think he was talking in regards to that he was going to fight uh, uh, custody of the child, which he has every right to well, do, Judge. And I'm nobody knows because, like you said, you haven't seen them. So I don't I know. know how you can guess what the intention is until you read the text. But the court does not have a problem approving the agreement. Obviously, we have an order that's going to be um, granted because of the DNA testing. Child support will be set at 194 with a cash medical of 50. Retro is being granted of $3,672 to be paid at $50 a month beginning May 1st. The name change will be granted, Ms. Uh, Canales. The court is going to uh, grant the name change of the child to Rodriguez. The child's not even three years old yet. Um, mm -hmm. right, managing conservators with mom having the primary right to determine residency with, it, with a geographical restriction to Maverick. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with a pickup and the drop off. Uh, what the court is going to do is uh, he hasn't seen the child that long. So we do have to establish visitation. The child is under three. So the court is going to set visitation temporarily. Um, if Mr. Rodriguez and Ms. Canales get, off, get along, I don't have a problem with, with her doing the supervision. The child's almost three. They've even, I think they're getting along because the pickup and the drop off is his house and her house. So it seems like they're getting along. There's not going to be any overnight right now. The child is under three. So the, what the court is going to do is if she doesn't have the text right now, but. I have it, ma'am. I'm sorry. I have the, the picture. How do I send okay. it? You have to be able to share the screen. Uh, how do I do that? Uh, at the very bottom, but you have to have it in an email form. I don't know if you can retrieve it from your phone until you send it to yourself. You send the image in an email. Okay, hold on. <coughs> so what we were going to do temporarily, Ms. Canales, so that you can show me the text and we can come back for that unless you are, what the court is going to do is just grant visitation every other weekend, but no overnight. When the child turns three, that's when it becomes standard visitation. The child will turn three at the in December, correct? Yes, December 17, ma'am. Okay, uh, so in between now and then, it's gonna be 
we we've got six months. Let's see, May, no, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. That's like about seven months. So the court was gonna have you supervise the visits at a public place for the first two months. <clears throat> Are you okay with that? Yeah. If you do the supervision. Yes. And Mr. Rodriguez, you all, just so that the child gets uh, used to the visits, you haven't seen her in a while. So the supervision would be for the first two months, which is really like four visits. Are you okay with that, Mr. Rodriguez? Yeah, yes, Your Honor. But the thing is that how am I going to get contact with her if I don't have her number? Or how am I going to? No, you're going to meet at a public place, but the court can put in the order to do <clears throat> the um, app close. There's an app. It's called Close. You download it for free. And that's how you can communicate. Judge, is there any way we can get the the custodial parent to have at least an email so that we can email her? Yeah, you guys have my email. Or if you don't, you can write it down. I can give it to you right now. Yes, search. If she could give us her email. It's Monica dot Canales nineteen ninety seven eighteen at iCloud.com. Thank you. Um, Judge, I send the, the email to myself. Now, how do I it? Well, what, the reason I'm asking you is because the texts become important if, mm -hmm. if you're not in agreement. And so I can look at those texts. But if you are in agreement mm -hmm. that you do the supervision for the for, uh, all the way for the visits starting all the way through June, because we're already, May, April is already mm -hmm. over. So for the months of May and June, you do the supervision at a public place. And then starting July, they will become unsupervised. That gives your daughter a, a, a chance to get acquainted with her dad again. Do you have any objections to doing it that way? July from this year? In other words, you're gonna be allowed to supervise the visits <coughs> all the way up through June. In other words, you'll meet at a public place, the McDonald's there in Eagle Pass, okay? Mm -hmm. so, uh, just what, for uh, Saturday and Sunday or first, third and fifth? Uh, first, third and fifth, Saturday and Sunday from 10 to four. Ms. Canales, you take her to McDonald's. From 10 to four? Yes, 10 to four. And then okay. starting July, <clears throat> starting July, there will be uh, no supervision. That's where he can pick her up at your house, and he you drop her you drop your daughter off at his house, and that'll continue first every other weekend. No supervision, but no overnight yet, Mr. Rodriguez. Yeah. You Ten can have four, right? how much? Ten how long is the unsupervised <laughs> visits gonna be for? Every other weekend. No, like um, until, how many? Until she turns three. At the no, age I'm talking of about three. the time. The time. Okay, from nine, from nine to six, the first, third, and fifth Saturday and Sunday. Uh, okay, um, nine to six, uh, both supervised and unsupervised? Because I thought you yeah. had to 10 to four. Well, I did. But really, if it's going to be standard with the exception of overnight, let's just stick from nine to six. Unless they agree, yeah. you want to do 10 to four, yeah. that's fine. Okay. Yeah, I think that's 10 good. to four is fine, unsupervised, because I don't even want unsupervised visits yet. All right. Well, the only testimony you're giving me is the, the, the threats, correct? Yeah. All right. If you're not in agreement to unsupervised, then you, I, I need to see. So look at your chat feature. My woman? Look at your, at the bottom, there's a share screen. It's a green button. You see it? No. You don't no. see at the bottom of your panel, there's a button that says share screen. Oh, yeah, but it's not green. Okay, well, tap on, it, click on that one, the share screen. Now you're going to see, you're going to try to find your, the, the text messages you want us to see. So you have to click on the text messages. 
It's everything on your screen, including notifications, will be recorded. Okay, it says Christian Rodriguez, so I'm assuming it's coming in. It's in Spanish. Since I'm objecting to any Spanish, Spanish, I agree with you. I agree with you, Mr. Mr. Waters. Okay, uh, Miss Canales, you can stop sharing. All you have to do is at the top where it says stop sharing. Okay, let me ask you a couple more questions, Miss Canales. That text message didn't have a date. Do you remember when he sent it? Yeah, I have it here. Hold on. It was on February 6, 2023. What was the date? February 6, 2023 at 5, 10 p.m. All right, and you said the last time he visited was in like about four months ago, correct? Uh, let me see. Last time he saw her was about four months ago. I have the picture of what he sent me when it was the last time. Okay, what is the date of that picture? It was March 7, so of what year? at 11 a.m. All right, so the picture that he sent you when he was visiting was mm -hmm. after the threat, correct? uh yeah Mark. you said the first one was in february where he said i'm not, i'm i'm not gonna i'm gonna go yeah whatever and then he he visited her and he did return her correct yes okay what we're gonna do miss canales is because the court finds that he visited after that threat and and he didn't take them what we're gonna do is we're gonna grant temporary orders that'll allow you time I'm going to keep the visitation in place, Mr. Wattis, because he hasn't seen his daughter for a while. So because they're so young, it's a good idea to have him uh, do the uh, some sort of visitation right now slowly. So we are coming back the first week of July. And Ms. Canales, you're going to have to have the text interpreted. But you're going to have to do it by a certified interpreter. You can't. What do is that? You, I don't know. You find a, an, an interpreter in Eagle Pass that's a certified interpreter, and you have them interpret the text, and then you're gonna email what the text say because we cannot use here in Texas or United States. We can't use evidence that's in Spanish. No. It has to be in English. Okay. So if you want you want me to see that evidence, you're gonna have to interpret it into the English language. Okay. Yes. So you're going to have to email it to the court, the interpretation. We are coming back. Um, let me just see the first week, the first setting in July, Mr. Feist or Ms. Chavasa. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have a July date. Your okay. Uh, I'll get it for you because the first, the first Tuesday is always, so it'll be July the 9th. We're going to come back July the 9th, Mr. Rodriguez. In between now and July the 9th, you're going to get to see your daughter the 1st, 3rd, and 5th. Saturday and Sunday. Your Honor, you cut out for me. Judge, July 9th. And the 4th. Uh -huh. July 9th is the second the Tuesday. The first Tuesday is Dimit. Yeah, can can we do the third Tuesday? I'm sorry, what, Tuesday? Mr. Wadi? I yes. said July 9th is second Tuesday, and I can't do second Tuesday. Yes. Can we do the third Tuesday? That's fine, July the 16th. Okay, thank you, Judge. Yes, July the 16th. Can you all hear me? Yes. yes I, July I the 16th now. is Wadi. Okay, July the 16th. In between now and then, he's going to see her the first, third, and fifth Saturday, Sunday at a public place, which is a McDonald's. Because it's a public place, I'm sure it's fine. There are cameras there. It, it, there is no threat. And Ms. Canales, you have to, when we come back, you have to email to the court the trans the translation of those text messages, okay? I have to transfer the it and then, shall be and then email them? You email them, yes. When okay. you get the notice, 
you're going to get the notice reminding you in court and at the very bottom of the page is an email. Your Honor, uh, yes. I did I did not catch the times. So the first, third, and fifth Saturday and Sunday at from what time from to what 10 time? to 4. 10 to 4. Thank you. At the McDonald's there in Eagle Pass. The child's name will be changed to Rodriguez. And the court approves all the other terms of the court of the agreement. Okay. Are these visits supervised or they're going to be supervised by her at the public place. And then when we come back, Mr. Rodriguez, uh, your daughter needs to get used to you anyway. When we come back is when the court is going to entertain uh, unsupervised until she turns three. That's fine. All right. That's your right. Honor, um, also about the pay. Um, about the I don't know about the uh, child support payments. Um, yes. I don't know if they told you, but his girlfriend right now his current girlfriend is the her family owns the company where he was working uh, i personally believe that he's in he's an advantage to receive income paid through cash deposits to avoid having proof okay. of income because his current family is the owner whose family is the owner of the business but his current girlfriend is the owner of where he was working and I think that <clears throat> they're just trying to like avoid <clears throat> him getting pay stubs. All right, like Mrs. Canales, then what you may want to do is hire an attorney because you're or you can bring me the evidence. I don't have the evidence right now, so um the office of the attorney general may not do it. So uh -huh. you can bring whatever evidence to show that he is making more than he reported, okay? Okay, ma'am. All right. Uh, Mr. White, is anything to add to that? Nothing further, Judge. Just All right. to advise the court that there is another child on the way, so maybe when we come back, it might need to be lowered because there is another child on oh, the way. Oh, yeah. When is the other child born, Mr. Rodriguez? Uh, it's going to be born on November. Uh, like November, I guess, 18, something like that. Yeah. Well, what is that on July, Judge? Yeah, that's too long because yeah. of the visitation if he wants yeah. to. But as soon as the child is born, he can go to the office of the Attorney General. Yes, Judge. Okay. And they can administratively do it. All right. Thank you, Judge. All right. Thank you, Ms. Canales. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Rodriguez. Well, thank you. Thank you.